it's Marie and I'm going to be doing my makeup so you can see how I get ready. First thing that I do after I wash my face is put my sunscreen on. I'm using the Hawaiian Tropic Antioxidant Sunscreen. This is um, SPF 50. And what I do is put it all over my face but avoiding my eyes. And then for my primer, I'm using Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio. I just put a little bit all over my face. It helps even off your skin so that when you put all your products, it will look nicer. I, I do put some primer on my eyes as well. Next, I put my concealer, Rimmel. This one I put right under my eye. And usually it's a bead. You see how it helps cover all the darkness. Sometimes I put some on, on my lids as well, just for the, for the eye makeup to have something to cling on. Now I'm going to be using Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and the one I'm using is Soft Ivory. Alright, I'm just going to put a little bit on my, my hand and just dot it all over. Now what I'm going to do is use uh, my dump sponge and just pat it all over. I think I'm going to need a little bit more. I'm trying to cover up under my nose because I can see some redness as well on the sides. Also, it helps if you add some product on your neck just to even out, you know. Use this um, CoverGirl Clean Mat, but I'm going to use the brush so that I'm going to set it. Next is eyebrows. So the technique for doing your eyebrows is drawing up a line from your side of your nostril. This way. And then on, on the other side, just a light, light line. And the highest point is this way. Draw a line from one side of your nostril to the last third of your, your pupil. Okay, draw it this way. If you mess it up, you can always erase it with the brush. First, you need to brush up your eyebrows. Alright, use a pencil and draw a line. So, you know, one is not higher than the other, and then another one on that side. Okay, let's see. And over here, from the highest point, draw a line over here. That your highest point is in the same. You can use this point to draw your highest point, alright? And then just here. Now that you've drawn the line, you can finish it up with whatever pencil that you want to use. Just don't like me. You can always erase if you make a mistake with the brush. Just gonna fill in the inside. Alright. Right at the beginning, sometimes I blur the lines. Because we don't want too much product on this side. And then clean up with it suit it. I like this angle brush because it helps drawing the lines following the shape. And also filling in, you know, those patches. And then I use it. I put my finger on the tip of my nose and drag it up. To make it look more like natural fibers. And this time I think I'm gonna erase that part. An extra product. And then I'm gonna do a little bit more over here just to clean it up. So, can you see the difference? You know, sometimes the eyebrows take forever, but just be patient with it. And, oh, for my eyeshadow, this one has a trio dark brown, a pink one, and a a highlighter and for this I'm going to use the brown one and I'm going to be using this brush it's sort of like the rounded brush it's different from this brush 
Okay, this one is for blending. All right, this brush, first I'm going to use the dark brown again. And then I'm going to tip my finger on the corner of this eye and just like do it going in like a, like a half moon. I'm putting mine over the crease line because as you notice that my eyes are like hooded. Okay, so it's a little bit over at the crease line. And now using the smaller brush. I'm going to use the pink one right by the crease line. I'm going to hold it, hold my eye up this way. I'm going to add more product. Alright, and this time I'm going to be using, using the same brush. I'm going to use the, the highlighter and I'm just going to put it on the middle part lower. This time I'm going to use the, big, the bigger brush and blend out. Alright. And then using the white one, I'm going to put a little bit more on, on the lower lid. And then I'm just going to rub it all over to remove some of that product. And this I'm going to put right under my brow and right over here. Just to define the line. And then I'm going to clean it up later, right? Just at the tip. And then I'm going to put it right here on the inside, this way. And now I'm going to do the same to the other eye. After that, I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm just going to do a wing and I'm going to start putting at the edge and then all the way to the middle and then closer to the edge. Just do it carefully and then this time let's do the other side. And now for the lower lash, you usually you want to put a little bit of shadow down here. I'm still using the dark brown. Okay. So. I'm going to be lining my nose. This trick will help make your nose look like it leaner in color. Longer. It's all about the shading. Okay, and this time let's put the highlighter in the middle. And then let's put more highlighter over here. Now let's blend, blend, blend. Now let's do our blush. The blush I'm using the L'Oreal True Match. It's the drunk blush style. So find your cheekbone. The apples of your cheek. And then just dab all the way around your nose as well. Remember that just a little product goes a long way. And for the contour, I'm using CoverGirl. A little bit of product right below where your blush is, okay? Right under here where your jawline is. under your cheek and then a little bit on the side of the head 
to blend it, blend it, blend it. And now let's do the lipstick. I'm using NYX Matte Lipstick with the shade Merlot. And this one I'm going to use the lip brush. I'm putting it a little bit outside the line just because my lips are like too small. And make sure you get the corners as well. Okay, it's alright if you don't get it right. You can just take it out, erase it, and then just fill it in again. Alright, and one last thing that I usually do is I put a little bit of gloss because just because i think it's a little too dark too intense for me so i put a little bit of a lip gloss this is neutrogena hydro boost hydrating for shine all right um that is the look that i've i finished i hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial Have a good day. What do you think? Do you like it? Alright. Let's try and get it here. Alright. Bye.